Jesus can protect you from Satan and evil spirits. Jesus can protect you from Satan and evil spirits. Follow three steps. 1. Submit to God by affirming these five truths. 2. Resist the devil in these six ways. 3. Rely upon God for these three benefits. Submit to God by affirming these five truths. 1. God limits Satan's power. Whilst apart from God, humans are no match for Satan's power, Satan is only a created being whose power and authority the Creator has limited. Evil spirits can only do whatever God permits them to do, and God will one day defeat Satan. Satan cannot take away our salvation, nor can he separate us from the love that God has for us. Two. Satan can deceive us. We Christians are in a spiritual war with Satan, and so we must be aware of his evil plans. He plants doubt in us, deceives us, tempts us with pride and with carnal lust, and then accuses us. He divides us Christians, discourages us, and distracts us, in order to oppose God's purposes. It is not always easy to recognize Satan because he often appears as an angel of light. Beware of his lies which are often partly true. 3. Christ is stronger than Satan. Jesus has purchased our victory by his blood. By his death and resurrection, Jesus defeated and judged Satan. Demons are subject to Jesus' authority. Jesus takes care of us and defends us. Christ prays for us and intercedes for our victory. 4. Christ gives us victory over Satan. Because we are in Christ, we stand before God with Christ's righteousness. We share Jesus' authority and victory over evil power. He has delivered us from Satan's rule. Although we cannot yet see it, we are seated with Christ far above all evil powers and rulers, you are seated beside the chief who gives you authority to act as his agent. Herein lies your victory. 5. God has a purpose for Satan. God knows how to make Satan to accomplish God's good purposes. God may let Satan discipline us. Even so, Satan cannot stop God's ultimate purposes for us. God keeps us true believers for himself. God delivers us from temptation and evil. God will bring us through to glory. 5. Resist the devil in these six ways. 1. Pledge allegiance to God alone. We must not love both the world and God. We must love Christ more than own physical life. God does not help the proud. If we humble ourselves and submit to God, then we can resist the devil, and he will flee from us. We must have faith that God is our only source of spiritual power. If we trust in magic or in other spirits, then God lets the devil stay and harass us. 2. Put on the armor of God. God provides us with defensive armor and one offensive weapon. We must put on this armor with prayer, so that we may successfully resist and defeat the devil. Then speak the word of God, read he book, delivering yourself from the power of darkness, by Abduin Jayu. 3. Perform acts of godliness. We must pray for protection. We must pray for freedom from testing that is too much for us. Pray for the gospel to advance. Stay alert, watchful, and sober. Set our mind on God's will. Forgive everyone, lest Satan divide us, 
discourage us and demonize us. Refuse revenge and do good instead. Stay away from carnal tempters, control our anger and reject bitterness, lest the devil take an opportunity to enter into us and control us. Four, renounce the devil and his evil. Do as Christ and his apostles did, pray with other Christians, and in Jesus' name, break every curse and order every evil spirit to leave you, renounce every evil practice that you or your family have been a part of. The apostles of Jesus, and the early Christians, used to deny the power of evil spirits. When they baptized new believers, do so for anyone who was involved in occult or pagan traditions. Five, remove occult objects and connections. Godly kings used to destroy idols and secret spirit places. New Christians who used to practice magic must destroy their occult books idols and objects. Many occult objects carry a demonic curse and can open the door to demons, burn such books and objects with fire. 6. Break fellowship with fetishes. Break friendship with those who are involved in any area of the occult. You must not continue to fellowship with those who communicate with evil spirits or deal with magic, we cannot have fellowship with Christ and have his power, while involved ourselves in any practice or ritual connected with the evil spirits. Rely upon God for these three benefits. 1. Employ the power of Christ. Jesus possesses the highest power and authority, and he has given us the right to employ his authority, as a Christian you are Christ's official agent in the world, in Jesus' name, you can command evil powers and they must obey, to do so. First give your body to Christ as a living sacrifice, do not abuse your authority, but rejoice in your Saviour. 2. Leave to God to control of all things. We are not to fear men nor angels, nor are we to fear events in this life, or even death. Since God is for us, no one can prevail against us. God will provide all that we and our family need. It is God alone who will defeat our enemy, since God rules over all. When bad things happen, we can by faith deny Satan's plan and accept whatever God intends for good, in spite of bad things. 3. The promise of always winning with Jesus. When we have done everything that we can to stand, we will stand, for God is able to make us stand. His promise is clear. Submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you, when we resist Satan by faith, standing firm in Christ, Satan must flee. This is a promise of God.